All right, I guess uh, many, many of folks are already back here. So yeah, hello everyone, this is Al Hussein. And um, if you are wondering what it takes to pass the newly launched um, certified Argo project associate, I've got you covered. So um, just quick uh, heads up before I start. I have put all my study notes in a GitHub repo that you can access by scanning Oh, sorry. So just uh, this is the QR code for the GitHub repo where you can find all my study uh, notes that I have uh, yeah, collected all of them there. And um, yeah, in case we run short of time, so this is, you have it. Great. So now we have got that out of the way. Um, yeah, so what exactly is the Argo project? I guess we, we all know what Argo CD is, right? But the, the thing is, it's not just, Argo is not just Argo CD and GitOps. It's more than that. It has, it's like a um, one-stop shop. It has the tools for workflows, for uh, continuous delivery, for events, for rollouts, you name it. And uh, yeah, so it's, it, it goes beyond just the CD part. Um, why even bother getting certified? Well, certification is, is, uh, is a good way to validate your experience for skills, knowledge that you have, and also show your current or maybe future employers that you know your way around Argo. Um, for some consultancy uh, firms, that's uh, even more important to have certified individuals, um, just like a way to show that uh, they have the expertise um, in certain type of technology. Personally, it has helped me to better understand the Argo project ecosystem beyond the CD part, uh, what capabilities it has, and what to use each for. In the end, it's, it's all about the journey and the, the learnings you, may, uh, you make along the way. So the certification is just cherry on top. Um, so the Argo project, the Certified Argo Project Associate, as defined by the Linux Foundation, is a um, is an associate level certification for engineers, data scientists, or others interested in uh, demonstrating their understanding of the Argo project ecosystem. Um, the, the certification is, uh, an, the exam is an online uh, proctored multiple choice exam and you get around 60 questions in 90 minutes. Um, the certification does not have any prerequisites and is valid for two years. The exam cost is $250, and uh, for KubeCon attendees, you can get it for a discounted price. I think there is a 40% discount, so that also counts there. And um, yeah, so by now we understand what awaits, and it's time to prepare, but where should we start? Before I started preparing for this certification exam, I already had some experience with Kubernetes and Argo, Argo CD to be specific there. And uh, I have started using Argo CD since 2021. I participated in a Digital Ocean Kubernetes challenge. And uh, since then, I've been using it with tools like um, Crossplane, GitHub Actions, um, Terraform, and Kepler. Um, yeah, so additional to, to that is that I have taken also a course from Acuity. It's a, it's a free course. It's an introduction to continuous delivery and, and GitOps. Um, so all of that was before the announcement of this certification, and uh, as you can notice that it's all about Argo CD. So I took this opportunity to prepare for this certification to get more acquainted with the other key tools of Argo project. And don't get me wrong here, I'm all for diversifying the uh, sources of information, However, I just think it's good to appreciate how helpful the official docs is, because um, honestly, even though there, there wasn't any like a dedicated course to prepare for this certification exam, um, the official documentation got the job done for me. So what is next? Once you, are, once you feel ready for this certification exam, um, of course, you can schedule it and take it with a PSI who facilitates this exam and complete, uh, log into your uh, Linux Foundation uh, uh, training and certification portal and complete the prerequisites for the exam, like system check and name confirmation. And then comes the, the final, uh, final boss. 
which is the certification exam itself. Um, when I started the exam, I was like, I looked at the number of questions and I, I thought I'm, I'm cooked because there's like 124 questions and in 120 minutes. But that's kind of expected because it's a beta exam, so you worry not about that. It's uh, now it's reduced, and the time also reduced, but it's more manageable, I think, from the time perspective. Um, there are also some quite tricky questions, I must say, but um, you can mark them for review and move on with the next questions and come back later once you are done with, uh, attempting all uh, questions. You might even get some, some hints from the following questions. And once you are done with the exam, you will have uh, your results and possibly the certification in 24 hours. And of course, if passed, you will receive um, a certification and a digital badge. And I think that's, that's really cool. Um, that's how the certification uh, looks like, by the way. And um, yeah, it might seem a bit daunting at, at the beginning, but once you get uh, some, uh, some hands-on experience with some tutorials, if you haven't already been working with Argo for some time now, uh, I think it, it tends to get easier, and you'll be surprised how uh, quickly up to speed you get. Um, and I think just one more thing I have to mention is that bef besides Argo, I have also prepared some uh, uh, notes for other exams like Prometheus and the GitOps uh, certification, uh, which is heavily influenced by the book written by Christian Hernandez, probably is here with us in the room. Great, he's there. Thank you for the book. Um, so yeah, you can also find it in the same uh, GitHub account, basically, which is mine. So I think, uh, yeah, that's the last thing I have to say, which is feel free to scan uh, this QR code if you want to leave uh, some feedback for this session, which I really appreciate. And also you can get uh, access to the slide deck there as well. And um, yeah, that's about it, folks. Thanks and good luck.